And Centum Investment Company says it can withstand the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic thanks to its stash of cash and minimal exposure of listed firms to the disease. This and more stories in our business wrap. It's progressing a bit uh, slowly. The investment firm says that their cash reserves are sufficient enough to aid it tried the COVID-19 shocks. Centum, which invests in real estate, listed firms and private companies, held cash and marketable securities worth 9 billion shillings at the end of March, up from 4.1 billion shillings a year earlier. Carrefour has opened its eighth store in Nairobi, increasing its footprint in the local retail space. The new store is located in Nairobi's mega shopping mall along Uhuru Highway, previously occupied by Nakomat. The store will stock food and non-food items and unique speciality offerings such as jewelry, home decor, a library, bistro area and milk ATM. Flower farms in the country are still reeling from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Molo River Roses, one of the flower farms affected, have loaded the government's stimulus plan on VAT and the ongoing negotiations with KQ to ensure that air transport continues. And finally, the rehabilitated cargo train in Thika Town is expected to significantly reduce cost of doing business for firms that have adopted the mode of transport, thereby spurring economic development in the area. At least six agricultural, marketing and vegetable oil manufacturing companies that transport cargo in bulk have started using the service. Twelve more companies from the vast Mount Kenya region are also reported to have expressed interest to be served by the rail that has been termed as much faster and more reliable as it is least affected by weather conditions and traffic jams. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.